Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. trustees regular meeting it's now 604 thank you for attending I'd like to call the meeting to order additions to the agenda for regular administrative matters and or pressing matters that will require ratification in a future meeting I have none okay. you need to approve minutes for three different meetings uh, March 26th April 6th and April 9th 2019 I'll move approved second it of all three of all three all right any discussion on these minutes? Hearing none, <coughs> all those in favor, say aye. 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 Right, and it's passed. Uh, now on to public comment on items. Any public comment? There being none, we shall now move on to the manager's report. Okay, I have a few things. First, I would like to introduce Rebecca Oldtower. She's the new executive assistant and she's taking minutes. This is our first meeting taking minutes. So those of you who speak at the meeting, please identify yourself um, before you speak. And really glad to have her here. Okay, move aboard. Um, hydrant flushing is complete, a little bit ahead of schedule. There were no issues. Um, green up day activities. I, I just uh, passed out of I have a copy myself, but it's um, there's going to be a um, green up day project uh, Saturday, May 4th, um, down on by the historical trails, um, down up by by Mill Street, and the conservation commission is is heading this up. Uh, uh, Peter Bergstrom has organized it, and that will start. Uh, the work session is at 10 a.m. Um, they'll have bags. Please wear gloves, layer clothing, bring a water bottle. And then there's also going to be a bird walk um, that morning. And the information that we have, which you can get at their website, it's the Saxons River Valley Trails Initiative. Uh, it has bird walks on following um, Saturdays. So uh, Oak Hill Trails, we've had several walks with residents and the group is getting ready to organize a volunteer work day so that's just a heads up and coffee with the chiefs is going to happen this friday the 26th at the flat iron exchange and we had a few people join us last time but we'd like to have more so please come on down and that's with the uh, fire chief and the police chief and i'll be there also and that was at the flat iron so it was at the flat iron and it will be there again this Friday, 9 a.m. So that's all I have. Okay. All right, moving on to the agenda. Approve award of bids for water and sewer main improvements. Um, number A, well, sorry, letter A, <laughs> Bird Street, Blake Street, with SUR Construction West Incorporated. Yes. We have those in front of us. I'll review um, these. This project has been a uh, long time coming. Um, we received, let me make sure I'm looking at the right bid, sorry, four bids, oops, four bids on this project. Um, the low bid was SUR Construction West in the amount of $1,336,035. And this includes water main, it includes uh, sewer, it includes new connections. It also includes work that will be paid for by the town. Um, that'll be some of the sidewalk, not all of the sidewalk. Um, and uh, uh, roadway work that will be paid for by the town. Um, the town approved that expenditure at their meeting last week. Can you tell me so what this that is good to go. Um, Somewhere around. Like it is the it? local amount on the spreadsheet. Okay. Hold on just one sec. But it's the... About some last yeah. column yeah town meeting approved 340,000 and it's um, less than that the the amount that will be paid to the contractor 
is two hundred and seventy thousand eight ninety. Um, that's on the spreadsheet that shows the, the, town the funding where it says local. Mm -hmm. Local means town. Yeah. Okay. Um, the town will have additional expenses, but that will not be covered by the village. That the town will um, handle separately. So that's out of the one point three three six million. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, so we can talk about the contract. Um, obviously, if you have questions, we are getting together a, a program to do outreach to the residents. We want to have a meeting um, before. The the country the, for the work starts obviously the Burt Blake would start mid-May at the earliest uh, early June is the oh early June oh okay um, so that's actually plenty of time to get the residents because um, some of them may want uh, different water service or, or something you know they and so that'll give them the opportunity to get a, a plumber in place um, we received good reference reports on the contractor um, we're, we're happy with the bid amount. The bid amount came in below the engineer's estimate, so I think our early schedule had something to do with that. And Chrissy Haskins is here from Dufresne Group to speak. Do you want to add anything before questions? I don't think so. Okay. okay. I'll make a motion. Oh, I think we have, is it on there? Yeah. Uh, uh, move to authorize the municipal manager to execute a contract with the SUR Construction West Inc. of Winchester, New Hampshire, in the amount of one million three hundred thirty-six thousand thirty-five dollars for the Burt Street and Blake Street water and sewer main improvements, and take all other actions necessary to complete the project. Seconded. Right. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any further conversation on this? Yeah, I have a question. Yep. Go ahead. Is the Park Street also included in the Burt and Blake? Yes, yes. Okay. It's just not in the title, okay. but it's definitely included. No, that's fine. Yeah. I just wanted to know because I yeah. didn't see it in the title. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, good question. That's For any little, residents who are... little one off Blake Street just shoots around. Yeah, yes. I just wanted to make sure because it wasn't in there. Yeah, yeah. Good, good question. Okay. Anything further? Hearing nothing further, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. <clears throat> um, now we move on to... B, which is the Mill Street with Knott's Excavator. Right, and for Mill Street, we had five bidders, and um, again, the total came in below the engineer's estimate, or the, uh, the low bid came in below the engineer's estimate, which is always a good thing. Um, that's a very complicated project. Um, as you're probably aware, just because of the contamination down in that area. So the contractor is aware of that. Um, it, it'll be challenging. Uh, railroad crossing, it's, it's real tight um, in that area. Uh, what's to the uh, good side from the contractor's perspective is there aren't a lot of customers down there. I mean, there aren't a lot of uh, the village is the, mm -hmm. the main customer with the wastewater treatment plant. Um, Obviously, they're part of the planning of the process and planning of the project. So, um, that, and the historical society folks who visit the trails, we're working out ways so that the trails are still um, accessible, especially on the weekends. Um, but again, we did get good references, um, and we do recommend approval of this contract. What? What was the? I don't see on this one the. The engineer's estimate is in the first. Column. Six, six, seven. So it's six hundred seventy thousand. I'm sorry, and I should say the total. It's a couple of pages in. Yeah. Here. Oh, right here. Okay. See it now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let me. I'll. I should reference this total bit amount yeah, too. Okay. Um, I remember now. Yeah. The engineer's estimate was six hundred seventy thousand dollars. Not excavating bid six hundred and ten thousand two hundred fifty five dollars and fifty two cents. The highest other bid was, or the highest of the bids, was eight hundred and one thousand nine hundred and ninety. The next <coughs> highest from Knotts was six hundred and eighteen thousand ninety. So we're mm -hmm. comfortable with the low bid. And this one does not involve any work from the town. This is village only. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion. Okay. Authorize the municipal manager to execute a contract with Knott's Excavating Inc. of White River Junction, Vermont, in the amount of $610,255.52 for the Mill Street Water and Sewer Main Improvements and take all other actions necessary to complete the project. Okay, give me a second. I'll second. Discussion on the matter. Um, I just have one quick question on, on this. Um, is the permanent place for the rail? We are not within the railroad right of way. For any of this? Hmm. Okay. That, that's good. Because that would make it a lot more expensive project. <laughs> Anything further? Hearing nothing, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. The motion's passed. Great, thank you. And this one's going to start a little later, was last I heard, but. Uh, possibly early June. Okay, so about same. the same. About the same. Okay, so we'll, we'll um, <coughs> keep you up to date and obviously keep the neighbors up to date. I, I, I appreciate the information that, uh, that you provided and also that you provided, Wendy, in the, in our little memo here. Yeah. Good. And there will be access down Mill Street, correct? For the our wastewater guys um, to get to Most of the time, well, they actually have a plan where they can walk. They can park up um, on West Westminster or the other one that's right below it and there. walk if they need to. Um, they We don't anticipate they'll need to, ex except there are those couple of days um, um, when there's that tight area just below the railroad when it mm -hmm. curves around. On the very north end of the project, it, it's much narrower there. Yep. And so we've talked with Rob already, and he is comfortable with closing the road there. Um, we will, the contract does require that the contractor maintain access for pedestrians to the grist mill and to the trail. Right, yeah. Um, so that, that will have to be done. They will have to maintain that access. Um, but Rob said that he can have some guys get in in the morning for the plant, and then other guys that are out you know, doing anything else in the system instead of back and forth traffic throughout the day. Um, and that'll just be for a duration of the project. Okay. What about what about septage? The septic customers is, is what we need to figure out. And yeah. we're, we're working on that. We may need to send them somewhere else for those couple of days couple when of it's days. closed. Or just okay. let them know in advance and they, they can hold it. Hold, hold it. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we'll see. Hold, hold it. Yeah. Hold it right. yeah. I think it's a good idea. Let them know well in advance. Oh, we are. And have we won't lose the business. We don't right. want to lose the business. Yeah. Oh, right. so agree. Yeah, yeah. No, we've we've been talking about how to what handle can they, that. Or can we dump in Saxon's River and then haul later or something? Actually, we talked about that. We don't want to do that. No, okay. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. But that's know, an idea. We let them know in May. You know, trying to give them some kind of idea what the schedule will be like and what days you anticipate. Yes. Not having to have a closure, then that hopefully they can. Make how long it, is make the closure anticipated? Uh, I'm not sure how long it would be. It's really just to get through that first section, narrow section mm -hmm. around around the corner there, where it's really narrow. Okay. And it would I mean, be open at night, right? Yes. I mean, at, at the end okay. of the work right. day, it stop, would be open. I was going to say, I do have a concern with, you know, there being one um, public space down there, and needing an emergency vehicle mm -hmm. if someone right. has an, has a medical event, right? Or if there is an injury or a medical event down at this plant, right? But and Sean's so. part of the planning too, so yeah, you're right. And we can coordinate with the contractor to um, maintain some level of emergency access throughout construction, even if it's you know, driving on the. Well, I mean, there's a way. There's a way around, also. Yeah, there is a way around. But it's a little it long, is. but it's, right. it's doable. Yeah. And once we have the schedule, we'll we'll have a much better idea of how long that closure will be. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right, then we move on to the next item on the agenda. Well, the last item on the agenda, pretty much. Discussion of strategies to increase attendance at village annual meeting. <coughs> okay. You had some ideas. Right, right. and you asked for this. Yeah, thanks, Thank Crazy. Um, yeah, Madam Chair, you, or Madam President, um, you asked that this be on the agenda. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I'm always trying to find ways to increase participation in government just that's it we make better decisions when more people are involved I mean we, we talk all the time about well the same old people turn up anyway unless it's something inflammatory but 
But there are things we can do to stimulate our community, we should, and we should try to do them. We shouldn't just say, well, same old, same old. This is a different decade than it was the last one, and so on and so forth. Um, there are we have the banner, which I Sean came in and talked to me about, you know, something that maybe would work between both village and town at right, some point. Right, right. But whether or not we have the time to make it, because meetings in, you know, four weeks. Right. And it's going to take a couple weeks to produce. Right, anyway. but we also have the rotary banner in the meantime, so... So ho hopefully we will. But the point yeah, is no. to get a, a reusable banner right. that can be used year after year because some of the banners that we've been having lately have just not been up to the mm -hmm. up to the job. And and having a week to try and make sure pe as many people see it as possible. I don't know how many people said well they didn't know there was even a meeting slash elections <coughs> the following day last year because of, and people say it in March too. So. I don't understand the point of that unless we unless we put it out there more and not everybody uses social media and not everybody uses newspapers. Yes, John. Do we, do we print it or do we send a note in with our water and wastewater bills at all? Because don't they come out? Is the timing wrong? Timing's wrong. Time, I think well, they just like six, went out. It's like six. It's like six. It's like five or six weeks before the meeting. Yeah, that but, would have been. That was a good but, idea. But next but year, April. <laughs> April is our opportunity. Yeah, right. we could slip a note in with those as they uh -huh. go out, yeah. noting the noting the right, noting the meet, upcoming meeting. Right. So we're already paying for posts. That touches as many yeah. homeowners as, or users as we right. Can I mean, so. that's a really cheap way that we can reach out to that. Right. We mm -hmm. should use that opportunity. Um, I was thinking about the uh, the movie theater. I know it's a town entity, but I believe this, the municipality puts ads up when they need to. Um, it catches not everybody, but some people and. And it helps more time just put an it. ad right right yeah. for a village writing, meeting writing some yeah. Little, yeah what less than 30 seconds i think they may be there some of them are 15 on the screen would be an additional way mm -hmm. fact tv is free hi guys may 20th and 21st um wool radio is also another place to that you can put stuff up there for free it's all done by free as long as somebody volunteers to do it um I always recommend to people to read All Those in Favor by Susan Clark. That's been a very instructive book. I used to have one at the house. It's gone now. And VLCT, I think, does the printing for that. Um, it gives you lots of uh, ways to attract attention through um, inviting school groups or <coughs> children's groups to come and have tables that help to help the adults you know, additionally provide, you know, attend. I know that Monday nights are problematic. People talk about that all the time. Some communities use Saturdays. Um, we've never moved to change our day. Um, people say that nobody will turn up on Saturday, but we get and we get to May, which makes it an up. You know what I mean? Everyone's right. getting ready to gear up to get out of school and you know and go do something else in the good weather, which makes it problematic. Um, food. Which, yeah, food's a good, food is always a good way to get people there. Um, and. If it's a fun, if it's fundraising for some community group, that's a, that's a way to attract more people. That's why I say you know youth school groups. Some of the kids at the high school I think are trying to raise money to go, or is it the middle school trying to go to some have some trip? So they might still be fundraising. There's an opportunity. I've asked a couple of the I've asked at the high school meeting um, and another meeting that if they are interested, they should contact you to see if there's an availability to okay. have a table. Um, and I'll do that again. Um, if any of the high school, middle school, or elementary school um, classes are still fundraising, need fundraising, and I know there's been some out there, my grandkids have been hitting me up, um, they might be interested in having a table at our annual meeting, which is May 20th. So you should contact the manager to see if there's availability to do so. Um, that always brings the parents and gets more students involved in local government, which some of them might be inspired to stay here and be our future elected officials. Um, there are other ways as well. Um, you might have had some other suggestions besides the food. Some places do meals, so I mean, we don't yeah, want to get into that per se. But have a little choir. If you, I mean, I can make some inquiries. Have a kids' choir sing the national anthem at the beginning. If that would be something you'd be Attract interested attention. in, get more people there. But or another families. song. Yeah, I mean it brings families. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And so that's the whole point. It's Monday night. You just right. want to get home from work and feed your kids and get it's, them off to bed. Well, it's at seven o'clock. I know it's at seven o'clock. It's really it can really be a tough time. Um, Sometimes there's been suggestions of free daycare down in this room. If there was an opportunity from, we'd have to have volunteers that are already doing that sort of thing. Perhaps to watch children for an hour or so. Parents come down. I know. I get it. Yeah. I see you shaking your head. Um, but it is another way to get parents to come because ooh, they get an hour or two free from the. Gym from their children while they're being watched well and um, they can participate in local government which they don't 
pretend to do because they don't want to bring their kids into the uh, into the auditorium, hey. into the theater. Yes. You oh, might want to please state your oh, name. Oh, reset. B r i s s e t t e. You might want to talk to the youth department at the library if you're talking about getting kids in and get because. Yeah, they're always they're looking back, for, the they're always doing new things, yeah. You know, so, yeah, also, um, if I may, um, a lot of older persons <clears throat> need rides mm. to come, so carpooling, if anybody knows, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I can walk here, but... And but, yeah, this, it's true. Just like the elections, yeah, yeah. You know. an opportunity for someone to give rides to the um, you know, to the meeting. Get a wagon and a horse. Get, get them all on your brand. <laughs> yeah. you know, might not be a bad idea. But it's fun. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I I believe that there we are not employing enough strategies. A lot of which don't cost us any money to um, to bring more people into the meetings every year. That continues to dwindle down to a few, only a few voters who vote on a budget for an entire year um, that affect the lives of some 3,000 plus people in the village of Bells Falls. I believe that about the town too, but it's up to them to employ some strategies of their own to increase um, participation. We do have the, the article on the ballot, which might bring some extra people in to, to have a discussion about Australian balloting for the budget. We should publicize that. I think that's, uh, no. that is a subject that I think have, people is the, might uh, the, um, I'm, I'm trying to think. Here we are. It's May 23rd. The uh, warning's 23rd. out. The yeah. warning's out. So yeah. it'll be in the, published in the paper, right, in the shopper? Uh, it doesn't have to be published in the paper if we get the books out by the deadline, which oh. is what we want to do because it's less right, expensive. But doesn't add that says you can go pick them up at such and such. We aren't doing that either. Which tells people we didn't do it for the them? town just because it's money, it's an expense. So uh, we I know, but how do you tell citizens where they can find their um, annual reports? If you, they aren't going to look at no. Everybody's not going to look at the website. Well, generally, it's been one. They seem to the know. And town hall, just right? like, yeah. I mean, we can do a press release, yeah. or yeah, or, press or we can do an ad if you like. Oh, well, but it's just we were trying to do press things. releases are free. Try that first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Post it at the website. I mean, at our oh, it definitely will yeah. be on the website. Right, but our, our website is not easy to no. easy to navigate, and it's it's clumsy, and it makes it difficult for people to find stuff. Uh, uh, no, you know, the calendar doesn't always there. doesn't always isn't always the updated, shopper, so it doesn't always have like everything on it. Could we have a it's we, we could it just cost money, but we could. Yeah, well, that was the usual habit before. I didn't know we stopped. Well, you have to do an ad if you don't get the um, book out, the 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 village report out by the deadline. And what's the deadline? Oops, I think it's the twentieth. Um, you mean the twenty the twentieth of April, which is three days ago? No, no. Um, no, that's the, de the the warning deadline was the nineteenth. Okay. The deadline to have the books out, I think it's yeah, I think it's the twentieth of May. I mean, no, 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 it's not the twentieth of May. Maybe it's the tenth of May. I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> but we're on target to get it. I, I believe okay. maybe it's the tenth of May. Um, that just it has like to be out ten days before wow, that's the not meeting very much time. Oh, but um, okay, I mean that 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 there being the short amount of time by which we put the booklets out is another reason why we get maybe get low attendance. And I, and they don't and you know what I can tell you I've gone to the lease size for that previous yeah I have too. and you're not finding yeah, the booklets yeah, yeah. you're so not finding the you're booklets? not finding them well when I asked I did ask and they said well they already were gone gone they were they gone and so. no one's replenishing the supply if that's where they're you know going you know, right coming from you hear from the people that somewhat read them and want to have a yeah but an idea yeah yeah and they you know they still should take the initiative uh, and all these are great ideas but they have to take the initiative. To show up here. I mean, I talked with some of these people, and they say, "Oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to go watch the game with so and so Monday night." Well, you know what? There's priorities too. Um, That's true, but but we have to. You are you already realize that we have a certain level of apathy, and as, as we yeah. do less, as we recede in government, more and more people say, "Well, there's nothing I can do about it," and they don't participate. Yeah. So we need to put it. Well, I just want to say, put it in their face in order to make more frequently than right. less, in order to make sure that they actually do. Participate. Whoever puts the books out should go back around every so often, right? Like in the next few days, and see if they still need more. Right. Agree. I, I am trying to put more them. interesting data in it. That's one of the things I passed out um, mm -hmm. oh, to you, to just to make sure if you thought this was a good idea because we haven't put it, anything like that in before. Well, that was in the select board packet, I believe. 
it was it was in the presentation that we gave to the village for the budget. Okay. Okay. I, I had hoped to do that kind of thing for the town, but I didn't have didn't get time that. to. But um, and this this is better than what you saw in your packet because this is the top 10 parcels. It's very difficult to say top 10 taxpayers other than um, uh, Great River Hydro, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, because many people own more than one parcel. So the, what this chart is for is, is just to show folks um, who are the, the top uh, parcel, by parcel, um, revenue and property taxes. Okay. Um, it just gives you a perspective of, of um, you know, income. Right. Um, and there's you know, a fair amount of takeaways from that. Um, obviously, the Great River Hydro is is the big the one. The participant. Yeah. Um, and then the other chart that isn't quite ready, but is similar to that, is the top ten utility um, payers, which okay. I think I think that's something that people would be interested in. Mm -hmm. um, so if if you guys are okay with us including that in the report, we will, and we'll find some more interesting things to to put in. Or if you have other ideas of of things that we we could you know information that you'd like <coughs> to be in there let and me know and this won't be in the print it'll be addition additions to no it'll be in the printed version okay oh because we still have two weeks of well no this that friday is a deadline Do you get it? okay no, friday is a deadline gotta, by which you have to have the info right okay. right yeah other than that it winds up being an additional sheet at the yeah which yeah. yeah and this i wouldn't do that for because it's not a correction no. or anything right. Oh, I just forgot. Yes. So the ideas you, you put out earlier about attendance and, and, and people attending, mm -hmm. you're not planning on implementing any of these this year? Well, yes, I already said I would pay for a banner for the vill for okay. the village. Hopefully that we That's get that so we can have it up the last week. There's one. Um, two, who would we talk to to get the Theater Rick or me? Yeah. I mean, okay. I'll talk to me about it. Okay. <laughs> disagree that it's not, you know that we should do that? I don't see any reason why not. Because I think the food idea. I mean, yeah. I, you know, we have to have a student. You have to have some who somebody wants to participate. So if no one's called Wendy yet, I'm not sure if anybody wants to. Yeah, but hope if if you want to search out some kids I'd who. Love <coughs> I can see a hot luck down here at like five thirty to six thirty. <laughs> What? She's laughing. Oh, she's down here? <laughs> yeah. You know, like she's always hanging. If you want to organize something, that would be great. Oh, thanks. What? Yeah. You know I bet what? you could do it. Maybe you could. I'll I think you could do it. See, yeah. see what happens. Yeah. That'd be great. You know, I'll show up. Yeah, we could. <laughs> we can. Uh, whatever you want. <coughs> whatever is run I'm for us. Um, I'm going to your house. Whatever runs for the theater ad could also be sent to back to they will run it on there as a spot, you know, as they flash through on channel A or whatever that. You know, yeah, that. yeah, we do so pay that. someone else to produce the ads, yeah. so let me just oh. do all that. I mean, I, I can see the town Why is possibly. That? I mean, it's it's well. really just work and a logo. Well, it, no, there's, 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 there's some stuff that goes into it. But I will. Art file for yeah for the village logo. I think the copier might be having well, trouble. Well, I've noticed because it's the same logo. It looks awful. I think it's the copier. Well, we'll check on it. I'm just concerned that you don't have the access to the original file, the same one that was always used before on. Uh, we got it from here. Here, what have you? Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. that's that was all. So it must be the printer. Um, anything further on the discussion of strategy? Nothing. We move on to um, we skip the fire department, police department. I'm sorry. Did you have something? Okay. Uh, review task list. That's the first of the month. Review the agenda items for the next regular meeting, which is May 14th. And we also have the um, joint meeting, which is April 30th. So, do you happen to know what's on our April 30th yeah. joint board meeting? Um, I have a few things if I can find a piece of paper. We have um, quite a bit. I gotta do it by memory. Um, we, the relatively new things are the Howard Block. Um, we need to work on. We're gonna have a concept plan for you because the parking behind the Howard Block has just been a mess for years. Mm -hmm. 
and the property is owned by the village and the town so it's a joint board matter um, okay we're gonna have the usual BIFTA I'm sorry so just the parking how much of, is any of the parking behind the Howard block privately owned or is it just Yes, the the parking that's immediately adjacent to the building. It's the one by the walk. It's a backup subway. I think that's where it is. Isn't it? The well, side of subway. Right, but the parking that's immediately adjacent to the building that is actually striped and formal that is owned by the Howard Block. Everything else is private. Is town. Yeah. Owned. Well, not every. Then immediately south of that is a right of way that is owned by Great River Hydro, oh. and then the next parcel that is just the edge of that bank wow, that is owned jointly by the village and the town that's why that's it's weird. been a challenge to solve but we think we knock on wood we think we have an idea the the problem if you're not familiar with it is it's dangerous um fire trucks can't get back there right. depending on how people park and the secondary problem is that the uh uh power block folks are willing to maintain it in in the winter but they can't do that because the cars who park on the town village property don't move. Right. And we don't have a way to make them move right now. So we're tr we have an idea. So we're not going to have a final plan for you, but it's just going to be an idea that is solid enough that we can implement. Well, I was thinking maybe um, from a town standpoint, since it would be the more broader, that we ought to have some type of an ordinance where we can move these vehicles tow these vehicles if we have to yeah what we're what we're thinking about is um a new kind of permit mm -hmm. that would uh because there's going to be some expense to us right. to to normalize the parking lot but if we're going to be doing permitted parking we should have it probably whether it be a village like a parking there. regulation for yeah the county and village. right allow the, to yank it the vehicle if we have to definitely yeah. and and that that could even doesn't necessarily need to be an ordinance it could it could be a condition of the permit for now and then an ordinance in the future because mm -hmm. it was it's really the only category of its of its oh, type no, I understand, but what I'm looking at is right. you'll have vehicles that I no doubt not unpermitted or non-permitted right there. right yeah. and what to do with them what you yeah. do with them yeah. yeah that's true that's true yeah it happened in the winter it's horrible there I mean right in 2004 to 2006 <laughs> and they just jammed up the back up there you couldn't people living yeah. in the apartments overhead you couldn't get in around there be honest with you, back going, I don't know how many years ago. Older than that. But when, the, when it was out the Shons and the, the fire was there, and that, and that was February, I think it was 20 below zero that night, and I don't believe you got a truck out back there at all because the ladder went up yeah. the front. I remember Kiss and I going up the front, up the ladder, and so the, and there was a lot of cars out back. So that's on the joint board meeting. Right, so, and political signs are on the joint yep. board meeting. Yeah, and should remain even though the There's select like board has eight eight on the same on there too. Okay. Uh, nothing else is new or we, we talked about all of the other things mm -hmm. um, depot street maybe if there's if there's news um, right now there's there's not on the bridge on the bridge there's not yeah news okay. Um, okay. the one the, the the area that I'm I'm interested in and it, it kind of came up because uh, one of our select board members came to a, a meeting uh, after the incident the incident of the uh, uh, up on Darby Hill, uh, I think it's Darby Hill, that, where the mm -hmm. there was a break in, mm -hmm. and then there was a, a major alert and right. search for for the, for right, the uh, perpetrator, etc. And it went from a Bell's Falls situation to a Rockingham situation, right. and, and um, we um, obviously we incurred the village incurred a lot of expense in terms of pursuing this. Uh, this perpetrator and the impression I got from the town was that uh, you know why didn't they cease and desist once it went beyond the the, uh, the border of Bell's Falls and I said well I you know to me that doesn't sound like a, a real good plan you know if you've got somebody dangerous at large and, and so I think that and it's come up a couple of times I think I'm probably the one that's brought it up more than, than others but you know um, uh, we have a canine, for example, and if there was a, an issue in Rockingham where where it would where a, a canine would come in handy, a lost child or something like that, then obviously the uh, uh, people involved would be delighted to have us uh, send our police out with the uh, with the canine. And so the, I think the question becomes: uh, uh, 
what is the, from the leadership of the, of the town of Rockingham, what's the attitude toward the Bells Falls Police Department in terms of um, responding to uh, issues in Rockingham um, and uh, the fact that the service is provided without any revenue. Mm -hmm. Well, um, can you get into the revenue part there, James? Is that way? Well, I, I could get into <laughs> that, but I, I think the you know I think the issue is that if the if the if the feeling is under no circumstances do we want the Bells Falls Police Department pursuing problems in our area of Rockingham, then we could make that clear to the manager and to the police chief, and um, um, we would avoid uh, time and expense and overtime and things like that. Yeah. And this would probably so, be, yeah, Gary wants to say something. This would probably be an item on the agenda as opposed to getting into it now because it isn't on our agenda to talk about it tonight. Well, this, I'm thinking of the joint board meeting oh, for that, not, not, for our, not for our meeting. What, discussion of Bell's Falls Police and Rocky, in outside of the village? Outside conference? of the village, but, but within the town of Rocky. Within the town of Rocky. Right. Okay, I don't know how you want to word that, but that could be a discussion. It Gary could be a discussion. Well, no, we can, if we're going to discuss it at the board joint, joint board, yeah, that's we what can, we should because we, we don't have that. Sure. Yeah. Yep. We haven't warned it. So, anyone else have anything else for the joint board? Yeah, the, I just want to respond to that. Oh, no. Being on the select board, that um, I did not get the impression that it was uh, to not, res not respond. Um, Aside from the statutes that warrant what the police chief has the authority to do without our approval, or with our approval, um, you know, you're always going to have situations where, because this is the full-time law enforcement agency, where someone's going to call, and it's, it's probably, in my opinion, uh, you know, if it's the, uh, an area that the state police or sheriff's department covers, I'm sure they'll be referred. But if it's a, a call of urgency or, or immediate danger or something. Um, or to catch a perpetrator as a home invasion or something, they're going to roll. And <coughs> I understand we're talking about Rockingham, but you also got to keep in mind that the Bellows Falls Police Department, we have, uh, they maintain uh, mutual aid contracts, whether it be with, uh, out of memory, Charlestown, New Hampshire, Elston, New Hampshire, Walpole, New Hampshire. Um, so, and there's our times where, um, I wouldn't say frequently jump the border, but where that dog may be needed or backup may be needed. But also, there are times when Walpole comes here, mm -hmm. or Charlestown also yeah. comes here. You know, where, you know, what I'm basically saying is they don't charge us to come here, and they do provide backup, and they right. do provide. We don't have an yeah, agreement don't, with Rockingham. Though. Right, we don't have that agreement with Rockingham, but, you That's know, true. Rockingham does have two constables, which maybe they could utilize. Oh, yeah, they only have one. Well, technically. The second one is no longer with us. I'm not sure of the status of that. I believe it was last time. Doesn't the Bell's Falls have a mutual agreement with the state police? I well, I'm not sure on that. I'm sure there must be, there's something, but I mean. So, gentlemen, I just want to say, are we going to put this on the joint board agenda? Yes, because well, we sure. didn't warn them to talk, talk about it. Because let's, let's it's about more of it, just getting a feel for what, <coughs> what, yeah. what the attitude is on, right. on, on the uh, select board. town side. Yeah, yeah. It came up from the select board from uh, Paul Reese mentioned about, you know, maybe they share the expense of yeah, purchasing well. the police cruisers. Not yeah. a bad idea. You can come to the joint board meeting yeah. to talk about sure. it. Sure. Uh, John, did you have something to say oh, about not that? For the, no, I have nothing to add for the joint board meeting, but for our next board meeting. Okay, so one second. Ste um, hold on. So I was at the select board meeting last week, and they were discussing the contract for the cleaning person. Oh, now we jumped to another subject. <laughs> and they, no. I'm no, it so, is. It's different than the one we just So for the, for the joint board meeting, what? No, I know. I'm smiling because I know what you were about to say, but. That it should be on beyond the, the claim, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's a couple of about it, right, and there's a couple other um, public works things we did. We put out a bid for uh, sewer cleaning mm -hmm. that involves both the village and the town. So if those bids come in and we're ready to That'll make a recommendation, we would put that on the okay. agenda. Okay. All right, that's good. Um, John, you have something for the regular meeting next in May. Um, 
Yeah, for our regular meeting, yep. I would like to get into discussing the uh, water wastewater contracts with fire districts out of Westminster mm -hmm. again. And I, we've already, I thought I had asked this last time, but um, the information that was going to be forwarded to us last year in reference to mapping those districts and hookups and that stuff, that, that was like eight months ago that we were supposed to have that yes, information. Yes, correct. Um, so if we could get that information with it for that discussion. Yeah, I hope uh, that's something, there's a lot of research. In, well, well, well let, let's, let's actually be clear what information. Um, you're talking about the customers and potential revenue and... In Westminster. Yeah. Out of, yeah, fire districts, one of five. Right. right. Both if, if, if there's something I can just find and send to you, well, Rob no said, problem. Rob said that they had maps and um, hookups and, and they were going to, re you know, that eight months ago that we were going to research all of this stuff and get back to it. Um, and we haven't. Right, the research um, part hasn't well, happened. Well, to get back to it hasn't happened either. I um, agree. Yeah. And <laughs> so I asked the last meeting we had right. about it to be on this meeting. No, and I, and I brought that to Wendy's agenda. And it's not. To, so I'm asking again in an yep. open meeting format to have it on the next open meeting for us. Yes. I don't think we can research everything for a lot of reasons, but I can certainly get you what we have. Okay. I mean, that's... That's not a problem. So, so I was the understanding that you. I mean, it would be the contracts, the agreements yeah. that we have with yeah. them. Right. Um, probably the material that you received last time we talked about it when they came here. Yeah, but we didn't have a number, we didn't and that's what John we weren't yeah. talking yeah, about. We, we, didn't know we didn't have a number of how many hookups. Right. Because right. it hadn't been updated weren't. for years. That's believe, what right? that was. Right. That, that was right. supposed to have happened. Because okay. I think that's because we don't bill by hookups because we bill. Yeah. No, we bill by hookups. The number of hookups. Well, we bill. It's a. It's a uh, formula, formula, wasn't it? It was, it was a formula. Yeah. Of yeah. Certain volume per hookup. Yeah. And that hookup number hasn't changed in three decades. Right. Right. So that's so saying it's zero growth. Right. Right. So that's why we wanted to know the number of hookups. Yeah. And right. That, of because then the revenue yeah. goes up. If, right. Basically. Right. And there was a something in the contract, the, the three decades old yeah, contract that was pertinent to. A state statue or something right. to as to which was the best formula for, for the best revenue generation. Right. Exactly. Right. Well, generating how much flow right. per per hookup right. as an average that we needed to look at. Right. To be clear, when we got that information some eight months ago, it was because of the the request by North Westminster. Right. Oh no, and I remember that. that. Is, and that was not a point at which we would have been studying right. the information we received. So we do need it again. Okay. But well, that's where you look for that. I'm sorry? That's where you look for that. Oh, certainly. No, and I and I remember. And, yeah. I mean, their request was to lower their bills. Um, yeah, well, for us to take which, over their billing. Right, yeah. right. Why? Well, because they can't recover their... Collect. Right, which is, we already have that on problem. <laughs> <Yeah. in our laughs> <language. laughs> right, they have it even worse. But, okay. I understand. Um, so that item for sure. Anyone else have anything else for the regular meeting? In May. Okay, we still have a few weeks for that. Um, if not, approve orders, bills, and warrants. Motion so to approve orders, bills, and warrants. Second it. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay. Other business? Any other business? Um, Jigs? No, I'm good. Gary? No, I'm good. Seven? We're good. John? Good. Wendy? No. Anyone else? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, except, of course, to remind people about the election um, and the annual meeting on the 20th and the elections on the 21st. Um, executive sessions already happened, so not necessary. Need to make a motion to adjourn. All right. Second. Second. <laughs> and all those in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you, folks.